So, Tommy, how are we doing, mate? All right, yourself? Yeah, not bad, not bad. To be fair, the last time we saw each other was Race Wars. Yes. And obviously, it. we managed to do some decent numbers. Was it 173? Six. 176, you've got to add a little not, three, not quite it? 180. Every I number saw, counts, eh? Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> sort so, of uh, lifted a little bit before of course, the line. Yeah, we remember. I'm going to put a little clip in now. <laughs> old age my, my, my bum's going like a rabbit's nose <laughs> so today tommy um actually before i forget race wars is mm, august uh, 5th. 5th yeah so we two. are going for round two and what yeah. we're saying this time around we're hitting Gonna 190 keep, keep this right foot planted, planted. all the way down <laughs> so um today anyway something we were saying just off camera because just over there on the workbench we have got something and have you ever done this to a car before? Has a customer ever come in and said, I want my car quieter? Because that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, but not putting cats back in. <laughs> uh, not, unless they're, not unless they're putting it back to stock and selling it. Oh, fair enough. So, fair uh, enough. yeah, this is a, I guess it's a first for refitting cats and the customer <laughs> keeping the car. Exactly, exactly. And what it is as well, we've already mentioned this, the titanium back box is just really, really, really nice, thin. Yeah. So it just gives out all the sound. So where we've got the secondary cats removed, we decided to source some standard cats and we're hopefully going to whack them in. But you're mm. saying if we do need to whack them in and we have problems, who, who are we going to call? We're going to call Mr. Mr. Rothenberger. Mr. Rothenberger. <laughs> all right, so we've made it to the bench and obviously we can see we've got standard, what would you class this as, mid-pipe? Or... Um, yeah, it's the mid-pipe with the secondary cats. Cool, cool. So with this, as mentioned, these bolts on my car, you're saying we might need a bit of heat to loosen them Possibly. up. Possibly. To be fair, they are still got six edges on, so we should be okay. able to get a socket on there, right? Wicked, wicked. And um, those two rings there, are they like my precious or what are they? <laughs> yeah, they're just the gasket rings. Oh, wicked. Uh, so those are the down pipes and the mid pipe. <laughs> uh, it's a video, Tommy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wicked, wicked. Okay, cool. So this sort of job. Where it has been chopped, are we hoping just to line it up or is there going to be a bit more work in, involved? Uh, yeah, I mean, they've been cut in the right place, so just need to cut them a little bit better uh, in the right place, but we've got plenty to play with. Wicked. Um, obviously, because uh, you've got the end performance, so mm -hmm. it doesn't, doesn't have a resonator, resonator there. Yeah. So, yeah, it comes up to there, which, yeah. So, I mean, you've got the standard mid-pipe anyway. Yeah. Um, which has obviously had the cats taken out. What do you think of the work on this anyway? Because it's not, I know you do a bit of welding, but is this decent welding or is it, should I just chuck it straight uh, in the bin? It's better than mine. For real? <laughs> Jesus, don't tell me, no, you're too do. nice. Yeah. Too nice. I did this one actually, me and my son done it, so big compliments there, I'm joking. Um, um, I mean, I only do a little bit of MIG welding, I don't. Yeah advertise it as oh, it's just if needs be you know oh, if you're in, say. Yeah, if so you're... you don't want to build cages for people's cars and stuff <laughs> definitely not right, guys no. sorry i'll take that no. back don't come here and ask for a cage to be welded no. in tell me no. won't do it no it's um, only just to get, like bits and pieces that need to be done. whatever you know i mean if you're in trouble and you need to sure. run a little weld or something but it's not something that i um Advertise. Advertise. Okay, so guys, you heard it here first. If you're looking for a cage, make sure you book in with uh, Tommy. He'll get you <laughs> sorted. <laughs> so the legend that is Tommy has managed to remove these nuts from the actual downpipes, which me, like personally, I honestly thought we'd be in trouble. I'm not gonna lie. I knew Tommy had it in the locker, but personally, I can't remember what I was doing. When I was doing the brake pads the other night ahead of the track day, I actually went under there and whacked a socket on and tried to twist it, and they weren't going anywhere. But Tommy, with his tips and tricks, has managed to do the business. And if we just have a look over here, you can see these nuts are off, and we're gonna be running these nuts. Oh, I probably need to stop saying that now. But yeah, guys, we're gonna soon hear how this thing sounds as standard. <laughs> uh, it's a video, Tommy. Oh, <laughs> First 
gonna start up. Oh, listen to that purr. <laughs> Beautiful, and I know guys, you might think I'm a bit weird, but Tommy, there's loads of smoke coming out of this. This is just the gasket, isn't it? Yeah, it's WD-40. W oh, it's a WD-40 you put in the engine. Ah, oh, oh, there was. <laughs> is it that oil you got from Lidl that you stuck in there? Is that what it is? That's special sauce. <laughs> no, guys, big, big shout out to Tommy. So, as you can see, or hear rather, it is a lot smoother. With the resonators or the secondary cats removed previously, it gave it quite a tinny sound, but already I can tell it's going to sound better. Tommy, when I ask you to give us a few blips, is that all right, mate? In uh, sports mode or whatever. I just want to hear how it sounds. I'm not going to go too close, just in case, I don't know, the turbos blow out or something. Oh, this. Okay, so we have just left GG Autos in South End. A huge shout out to Tommy, as per usual, for coming in with the goods. So, I'm gonna say, based on that little riff, I know it sounds better, and right now, we're in efficient, and it's beautifully buttery smooth, no drone, not that, that there was much before, but it wasn't as smooth as it is now. Now it's just, it's lovely. So now, M2 button, traction fully off, sports throttle, meaning the flaps open up when I get above certain RPM. And it still sounds loud, but not stupid. And I have to be very careful, because in the back we've got <laughs> the mid pipe, so. Oh, it sounds beautiful. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man, this is better. Smoother. Absolutely bang on. Oh man. So guys, you're probably gonna hear more off the exhaust and obviously the car on track, etc. So guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you have found this video helpful, make sure you go over and firstly subscribe to GG Autos on Instagram, then subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Hey, Tommy weren't lying about these roads, boy. Hey, hey. He said, hey, Tim, there's these nice roads. Turn left and then turn left again. I love Tommy's voice. Proper lad. Turn left and then left again. And then send it. He didn't say send it, but he knows I was going to send it. Second gear send. Little window down. <laughs> Commentating my own drive. Beautiful. <laughs> oh man, spot on. Man like GG. Tommy. Hey, rough hamburger. Eish. Eish. <laughs> man, oh man. What a day to be alive. <laughs> oh, I'm chatting too much nonsense now, guys. Hope you're still well. Hope you're still well. Hope your day is gone well. Hope everything is okay. Take care. Very nice. After you, love. <laughs>